so many youngsters here and these are like opinion leaders in their independent spheres from where they come from. What is the first thing you'd like to say to young India who's actually going to take on the mantle of creating a new India? Well, you know, I often feel that I'm not really someone who can tell you guys what to do. I think that you all know your own minds well enough and I don't think that they really need to be told what to do. What I can share for sure is, is what, what has been important to me. And I think each one of us, you know, finds our own path. Uh, so what has been important to me, uh, which I'd like to share with you, is that I have always believed in following my dreams. And uh, I, I don't know how that happened. Like, I'm, I'm not quite sure how that happened, but I think it, was, it also happened because I'm very uh, passionate about whatever I do, whether it's my work, which is films, whether it's playing sport, whether it's you know hanging out with my friends, whether it's having an argument, whether it's you know laughing about something. I'm very, very passionate about everything, and I give my entire attention and full uh, everything about me is in that one thing that I'm doing at that time. So uh, I, I think that what has been very important for me is that I. I don't want to compromise with what I want to do. What is my dream? I don't mind compromising to achieve my dream. But I don't want to compromise the dream itself. So that is something that I've always believed in. I believe that, uh, you know, all through my career I've been told that he's not going to last for more than a year. Because of the kind of, you know, I've picked very unusual films, I've worked in a very unusual way, while the rest of the industry at that time, when I came in 25 years ago, was doing 30 films at one time, actors were doing 30 films at one time. I started doing, you know, like three films, and then I came down to one film. And everyone thought, okay, yeah, this guy is nuts, you know, he's... And everyone who I knew and who even cared for me, always told me that, you know, I think you're making a mistake. And this is a fascinating thing. Right through my life, every important decision of mine, all the people who are important to me and who are close to me have always told me, you're making a mistake. Don't do this. <laughs> I've always been told. So that's a good benchmark. <laughs> no. I appreciate the fact that people who are close to me are concerned about me. I appreciate the fact that they care for me and they're worried for me. But what, I, what I've al always been happy about myself is that I've always done what I believed in. So I'll give you two, three examples. When I was in the 12th, that's when I decided that I want to learn about filmmaking and cinema. So I told my family, my friends, everyone around me that you know I'm going to start working as an assistant director and start learning about filmmaking. Everybody I knew at that time, my parents of course freaked out. You're not going to be a graduate, you're going to leave your studies. It was halla ho gaya And uh, my uncles and aunts, and they were all like, you know, you can't do this. My cousins, people my age who I thought would understand me, my friends said, yar, jo bhi hai graduation to kar le. Do what you want. You want to be an actor, you want to be a filmmaker, do what you want, but at least be a graduate. It didn't make sense to me. I was like, why? If I want to be a doctor, do I study commerce? No, I study medicine. If I want to be an engineer, I study engineering. If I want to be a filmmaker, I want to study filmmaking. Why on earth should I waste time studying something else when I'm very clear that this is my goal? So, no, no, because you need a paper which says you're a graduate. That all was told to me. I said, no, I don't need a paper. I don't need someone to tell me what I know. I know what I know. And if I need to know something, I'll learn about it. Uh, so I was very clear that I, this is what I wanted to do. So I didn't listen to anyone. I didn't listen to my friends, I didn't listen to my family. I just did what I wanted to do. Because I feel that if I'm clear about what I want to do, and I'm honest about it, and I'm sincere about it, and the reasons why I'm doing it is, is, is clear to me, then I must follow my instinct. Because I'd rather, even if I have to go wrong tomorrow, I'd rather go wrong on my instincts. I don't want to go wrong on somebody else's advice. If I've uh, taken a wrong step, I'll deal with it, I'll learn, it'll be a learning experience for me. So, right through my life, I've noticed that there's been times when people who are close to me and who care, who care about me have told me, you're doing the wrong thing. And I've always felt that, I've listened to them very carefully, I've never ignored them. Uh, but I finally did what I felt like doing, and, and that's one thing that I, when I look back today, after 25 years of, of being a professional, I feel that that's one thing that I, I feel happy about. That I lived on my terms. See, today I'm successful. I may not have been successful. I may not have been successful. I didn't know I was going to be successful. But I, I'm happy that I lived on my terms. 
And I'm happy that I never compromised. Whenever I was offered something I was not happy with, I didn't do it. My question to you is that from a person who did the best, excellence was what you chased, there was a pivotal moment, Eureka moment. See, Archimedes also didn't wear clothes. <laughs> What was your moment that you said, okay, I'm changing the graph a little bit. Like sportsmen change technique after a certain time. I, we see it. You may say that it may not have happened. What is your Eureka moment? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, for me, I have always worked the same way. So, I'm aware that when you look at me from afar, you might feel that, oh, up to here he was doing this and then suddenly he changed. That, that maybe Lagan is the changing point or the turning point. Uh, if you want to identify one sport. But for me, it wasn't even that. I have always done what I believed in. So even the films that have not worked or have not turned out that well, I believed in them. And they are mistakes which I own. Uh, and, and, and I hold them very close to me because I feel that, in fact, I have learned the maximum from my failures. My failures have taught me the most. And, and so I, I really value my failures. Whatever I am today is because, not only because of my successes, but also because of my failures. Whatever I've learned, you know, through my failures. Uh, by the way, you guys, I mean, all of India had contributed to one of our shows on, on a female feticide. I wanted to know that the money that you all contributed went into making up a huge building in, in a place called Snehale, which is called the Satyavedika Bhavan. <laughs> which, is, uh, which is for all the, you know, women who uh, are thrown out on the streets, any woman who needs shelter can go and stay there. Uh, a lot of kids who are thrown, usually girl child, thrown in the garbage, they are picked up by Snehale and they looked after. And so they have a place, a shelter, it's called Satyamedhi Bhavan, that's what they called it finally. Uh, so there Swati was asked this question, you know, that why are you doing this? And she said, you know, when you help someone, it's a great feeling. Uh, it's a great feeling to do something for somebody. But that's not why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it to help anyone. I'm doing it because it makes me happy. I'm doing it because I know no other way to live my life. This is the only way I know to live my life. I don't know how else to live my life. And that was her answer. And I completely agreed with that. You know? It resonated with me. What she said really resonated with me. That, you know, why am I doing something like It's because I feel like it's what I... Just, it's coming out of me. That's why I'm doing it. As interesting subscribe to Bollywood Wala ko. Do share your feedbacks, comment on our stories, and don't forget to like the stories.